Loretta Lynch meeting behind closed doors today with House Intelligence Committee members as part of the ongoing investigation into Russian election meddling. But she'll also likely be asked about the Hillary Clinton email scandal, including that airport tarmac meeting where Lynch was meeting with Bill Clinton during the investigation that involved his wife. And her request that former FBI Director James Comey call the probe a matter instead of an investigation. But Lynch was quiet as she headed into the meeting this morning. Fox was there. Attorney General Lynch, did you tell Director Comey to call the Clinton email investigation a matter? Attorney General Lynch, did you make a phone call before the meeting with Bill Clinton on the tarmac in Arizona? Let's bring in Tom Fitton, president of Judicial Watch. And Tom, the last we talked just a few days ago, you had just found out that there are documents that the FBI has uh, that they'll release to you in some redacted form at the end of next month. And so right. you're waiting to see that. But now there's movement on the Hill with Loretta Lynch. Well, let's hope they follow up and ask some questions of not only Loretta Lynch, but the FBI. You know, remember what James Comey said. He was concerned about the tarmac meeting but he was also concerned about the tarmac meeting, not because it was an isolated instance, but because there were other issues with the Justice Department in terms of having a, an apparent bias that could be perceived, at least by the public, in favor of uh, the Clintons. And uh, I would be really uh, direct in making sure that they ask all the questions about what Loretta Lynch was up to in terms of her communications, not only with Bill Clinton at the tarmac, but other Clinton advisors or aides or maybe the White House about uh, the, her handling of the Clinton email investigation. You know, as you look at this, uh, and I want to go back to those 30 or so documents that you're waiting to see. I mean, does this help you then to pinpoint what exactly you're looking for in those documents? Or is this something fresh and new? I, I, we can't tell what's in them yet. Uh, we don't know what's in them. I think what was interesting about the documents we did get, which were redacted, unfortunately, by this Justice Department, uh, there were talking points that were created almost immediately after the meeting took place or once it was exposed by the media, uh, that Phoenix reporter down uh, who, who caught it, uh, the meeting on tape with a camera. Uh, what were in those talking points? I mean, if it was an innocent meeting, why did they need talking points that went over paragraph after paragraph after mm. paragraph, which is all blacked out, uh, what was being said? What did they need to spin if it was a straightforward meeting? Now, Loretta Lynch, though, has admitted that that meeting cast a cloud over her investigation, yet she never recused herself. Why is that? Right. It's a, these are excellent questions. And if there was anything illegal or untoward, what would be the accountability or the responsibility that she would be held to? And, you, and uh, that's true. And you can't separate the... Clinton email, ha the handling of the Clinton email investigation and the evident bias of the Justice Department in favor of Hillary Clinton. I mean, if you could see in all of the cases that we were pursuing at the time, they were defending Hillary Clinton uh, in, in a way that made it look like the Justice Department was an extension of the campaign. At the same time, was Loretta Lynch approving uh, a FISA warrants, involved in FISA warrants against Trump and his team? Did they use this dossier, political opposition research, to justify wiretapping uh, Team Trump? You're talking about uh, that Fusion GPS dossier that, that we've been investigating to see, are there any facts in it, what the factual grounds are? And would and they who have was used behind that? It? Who, who was behind it? What right. did she know about that? And then, of course, you have the unmaskings. Was she involved in the unmasking of individuals who they didn't really need to know anything about other than the fact that they were Trump people and they were interested in figuring out there was gossip and dirt to be had. Uh, that, that's, what, that's the way it looks like from the outside. I want to know what she says. Yeah, and whether those documents will show us any of that. With the unmaskings, I mean, we do have, we are getting a better idea of just how long the list was of people who wanted to know the names of, uh, that might have been scooped up as we were trying to listen to foreigners here through investigations. Uh, before I let you go, again, November 30th, anything else that they have told you about those documents that you will be receiving? Uh, no, uh, but since we last talked, Harris, we found out there are 2,800 new documents on Anthony Weiner's laptop that were government records of Yuma Abedin, so we'll be getting them by the end of the year. Wow. And, uh, you know, we're just finding out this week that the State Department has 40,000 Clinton emails that they haven't even reviewed yet. Wow. Well, that, the, the previous ones with her aide, Abedin, of course, uh, that will be interesting to, to look at because that 
figures all into the email scandal, which is what they are, we're told, they're focusing somewhat on with Loretta Lynch today. Uh, Tom Fitton with uh, Judicial Watch, we appreciate your time. Thank you.